we're gonna start today by fishing for bait. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian, I'm watching Angel Anarchy. Uh, when I say bait, I mean, you know, anything that's not a muskie. So uh, we've got really crummy conditions for muskie fishing out here in Eagle Lake. That being said, we could always go out and bump into one, but typically post cold front, high skies, wind, just, it's not fun. Uh, and we usually don't see that many fish. So what we are going to do is go out and try to get ourselves uh, some walleyes and some pike for a fish fry and then uh, later on we're going to go out and chase muskies. So you're going to have to put up with us catching some small stuff uh, before we catch some big stuff hopefully today. I've got uh, Ben Stone, Ben Stone fishing in the back here uh, and Trevor Allen from, yeah he's he's snoring in the front right now. <laughs> Trevor Allen, Chaos Tackle, Trophy Time Leaders and Lures. Uh, we are up here staying at Cold Grove's Eagle Lake Lodge and so far we've had a decent trip. The muskies have been so-so. Mm, Trevor got a 50, Ben got a big 48 and three quarters. So, uh, those are the two big fish. I've got a bunch of 40 inches right now. So uh, at least we're putting some fish in the boat, having a ton of fun. And uh, we are gonna continue that trend right here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're, we're on a food mission this morning. So I've got a little 3 8 ounce Berkeley war pig rattle bait. Uh, the boys behind me have similar type stuff, just little stick baits, you know, walleye, bass, bait type stuff for you musky fishermen out there. Um, just throwing it on a seven foot medium heavy rod with a smaller bait caster, a little old school Curado Super Free. And what we're doing is just looking for these areas that have this little bit of sand grass down here, anywhere from seven to four feet. So that's what we're doing. Just trying to catch some food for later on. You got there, Slick. Is it? Oh. Yeah, that might be a little bit big. Eh. Yeah. Well. We'll have to get the old bump board, put the old Huck 2 on it. I got to say, Brian, you got that bump board program dialed. <laughs> Although it's hilarious that I just dipped it if we're going to keep it and kill it. <laughs> Force habit. He's too big. Yep, too big. Oh well. Vision 110 strikes again. Can't catch a fish on anything else. Give it a little twitch twitch. Oh, he's hooked up again. Is that an eater walleye finally? Yeah. <laughs> or it's pike. <laughs> oh, we are crushing it. You know what? It's small, but we need food, so 
Box her up. Box her on the head. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's happening. Oh, boy. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, but you're fish fry. Go join your friend in there. That's an eater. <clears throat> you can stand to be bigger, but desperate times. <laughs> Golf for desperate Why measures, Trevor. Oh my God. Well, he's got three hooks in him. <laughs> like <laughs> litter. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I'm just gonna say it. <gasps> what do we got here? Pike. Pikey. <laughs> All right. We gotta get this one. Yeah. Yep. Hopefully it's not too big. What do we got here? No, it's just a just a spunky Try pikey. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's smaller than I thought it was going to be. But you know what? She'll eat. That's right. That falls on me. Just like that box fell behind me. Alright. Every time you guys say something, I'm supposed to <laughs> there we go. Oh, come here, you. I know you're not that big, but you know what? She'll eat. All right, everybody. Well, after a lovely fish fry of mostly pike, which I think are delicious and are better than walleye, but that's just me. Um, we caught some decent fish this morning, just goofing around trying to get ourselves a fish fry. Uh, didn't really think the conditions were good for muskies anyway, so took it easy. But now we are back out after them. Um, still tough conditions, but hopefully with the sun up and warming the water up a little bit, we'll get into maybe a weed bite. We're gonna check some rock spots right now, see if we can bump into any out, uh, some deep open water humps, a couple of points. Uh, if there's nothing there, it's a weed bite, hopefully the rest of the day. So let's go find out. All right, well, we've got word that uh, people are moving some fish on bucktails. So I've got a double nine Esox Assault killer corn with a little dangly blade that I added to it. Nine six SWAT. 400 tranks and uh, fins braid excess 100 pound big game so that is what i'm rocking i think we just got bucktails all the way around for the most part and uh we're gonna see if we can get one of these silly things to hit it uh sure would be nice after the day we've had <laughs> Here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Right up top, come on. Is 
Sometime today would be good. I think he finally took off. Yeah, he got lazy when he went out. Are you kidding me? He went around long enough. My he goodness. That's annoying. No, nope, he'd, he'd come up in that top corner where I expect him to hit. He'd get, psh, come right up to it and... Ugh. Well, my goodness, folks. Eagle Lake doing what she does best, kicking our butts uh, when we're musky fishing. It was even tough to catch uh, pike and walleye this morning because we had a cold front come through and knocked our water temps down probably a degree and a half to two degrees. So made this morning tough. This afternoon, one of my buddies uh, got a fish. He sent me a picture. Um, I mean, we saw a handful. I don't know how many I saved, but I know Ben saved a couple clips, so hopefully we can throw something together here. But yeah, I mean, we went from 63 to 60 degrees in some spots, upper 50s, uh, where, where, where we had been seeing fish, so that was not helping. Hopefully that right there will help us tomorrow. Uh, we are coming up on the full moon. The full moon's Friday. It's Wednesday right now, so we have two more full days of chasing muskies here on Eagle Lake. Hopefully the weather cooperates and that will in turn make the muskies cooperate and that is a big ask but hopefully that will happen and we can put a couple of fish in the boat. Uh, I appreciate every single one of you watching this mess and I'll see you on the next video.